now so I can show you how to set this up correctly. okay so I put the mouse so device ID right here and you're gonna type in the password okay I'm just gonna go through the network because most of the problem with the network use the resolution of 1280 by 720 is the best so I'll go to the network so if you look right here I check the static I don't use the HCP because they changed this one your IP address like an ID for each of the device in your house you have phone or whoever is connecting to the router they will give you a different ID number if you do use a DHCP they will assign whatever is available at the moment this is your router address the media port is always 9000 the web port is 2049 static means that I assign this one always at the number 111 the first nine numbers is from your router the last three numbers that you can have up to whatever a three number of the device in your house if this one is available I use this one so normally you click the ESCP first and then whatever they give you the number at that moment you choose that number and then you click static so it becomes static so you save it and I disable this one because I don't use this because I don't need it DNS disable that's it who can't use the phone the iPad laptop when they go outside of the house and they cannot monitor their home using the night owl HD a lot of people have been watching my video but they couldn't do it so every time you turn it on they will ask if you let the app to access the internet it's working in order to for you to do it outside of the house you have to have port forwarding let's look at the control panel okay so this is the laptop but it's pretty much the same group management device management inside the house you should be able to see it because you use the same router so anything that's connected to the router will automatically see it so when you're inside the house you scan this ID and you can see it but when you go outside this one has to be your IP address but when you go outside you're gonna add a device okay so it doesn't matter if you use Mac or Windows the software is called Dial HD so how do I set this one up I use the IP address that the internet provider give it to me to the house so how do you find that if you go to any browser and you type what is my IP address it will tell you right here this is your IP address for your house this is what you use to access the night owl from anywhere outside the house so the important thing is this is the one and then all you do is put media port username and password you can use this one for any devices phones pads uh, tablets whatever you only can use this one if you don't you go into your this is your router and you go to the place called port forwarding you have to add your local IP address of that night owl and you have to enable it you add a service port so I add service port 9000 
I also add the service port 2049. So if you don't do this one, that you can access from the airport is by using this IP address. So you have to add a port forwarding. So when people who are not technical enough to add this one into the router, you will never be able to connect from the outside of your house. I hope this is clear on why you cannot access from the outside. Okay, so this is my iPhone. So this is the Night Owl HD. Okay. Now, how do you set these up? So the first thing you want to do is to ask the device manager. When you want to add a device manager for you want to add your device, you see this one right here? Add plus, okay? So device name. Now lock in type is not the scan. You want to use IP and domain. And you put the IP address of your home. Use locking type IP domain. The IP address here has to be the IP address of what's my IP. So that is the IP address from the internet provider that give it to your house. Media port and then you put your name, IP address and password and they will automatically see the channel for you. So go back. The device name, 60. Login type, IP domain. The IP address here is from Comcast that give it to me, to my house. Username, whatever the username you use, and then the password, okay? Right now it said connected. You save it. There you go. So okay, so so watch out for the power cable that I just moved it a few minutes ago. So when the power cable is not there, always check. <laughs> See that? So normally it's operator error. It's not really what's wrong with the um, the device. See that? So make sure your cable that's running from the outside into the house is not kinked. Now since I'm here, alarm. You want motion detect. So I, use, I only use 4 channel alarm 8. I will add it later. The buzzer is off. The motion is enabled. Sensitivity highest is 8. So I don't want it too, too sensitive. Anything that moves that will trigger it. So the motion area, show message, but do not send me email. Post recording is that it will record one minute max for every trip. So motion the area set up. If it's red, it's selected. So look at these trees right here. So if I don't want the tree to trigger it all the time, I remove the tree out. So when it's moving, it won't affect. So let's kill this. So all the movements in here, it won't trigger. I can just remove all of these. Make sure when you're done with each channel, save it. Right click, save it. Okay? If you don't save it, it won't work. Right click, it will get out. to the record. Always hit the motion record, not the normal one, so it's yellow. So you can set all the way through. And then you can copy to all, and then you save it. So basic, channel one, enable, mainstream, enable, copy to all, okay, record, no schedule. So all motion detection, okay? Copy to all. Mainstream. 
what you use is 1280 by 720 this one gives you 30 feet per second so it will come out clear the bit rate is 2, two meg is good you don't have the audio so constant bit rate variable bit rate this one I think they use more but just use constant it's fine copy to all and then save nothing changed okay let's record so it's always working it's been working for many months now I don't know when I started this one and most of the problem is that people don't know how to set it up these are very reliable and if you hook it up correctly